I'm not going to report on this shit as if, oh my God, I just can't fucking believe it. Because how in the fuck can't you? Dog, every fucking week it's something else. The only fucking thing that is constant in life is change. And there has been no change in this goddamn show. If you start looking at this goddamn hip hop genre as a TV channel like VH1 and just look at this rap game as if it was a show, you'll be surprised. You'll be baffled at the similarities. Why the fuck your music ain't went nowhere? You begging motherfuckers on Instagram live to listen to your new mixtape cause it's heat. I don't mind being a bear of bad news, my nigga. Yo shit is trash. Call up these people at Quality Key Production so they can get you some old lyrics. They can get you some old concepts. They can get you the beats that you motherfucking need to get your shit to the next level. Get your shit together, big homie. Six nine. I'm, I'm, every time I try to holler at you, big home, like you don't listen, like you ain't listening to me, and you gonna end up getting murdered out this bitch for playing. You not understanding what game you in. You not. You accumulating so many fucking enemies that it's gonna be hard for motherfuckers to pinpoint who does what to you. But as I'm thinking about it now, you wisened up. You got um, shoddy away from you as far as having him being the only form of security that you have because I don't think that he would kill his money by allowing um uh, hold on hold on hey dog give him on my window please boy you getting too damn big for this shit boy Hey, look, I'm extremely appreciative to everybody who's been showing love, giving their suggestions on what we should stop next on the Big Face Podcast Alabama tour. But I need you to go to my DM and not the comment section. What the fuck is you doing? Stop that. I'm appreciative to everybody who's been donating. If you've been donating, I definitely know who the fuck you are. Most of y'all have been donating, you know what I'm saying, like, routinely. If you haven't donated yet, get the fuck out of my comment section tell me how much you like the show. Just yeah, please, you know what I'm saying? You know, like... I don't, you know I don't fuck with those kind of people. Just going back to, you know what I'm saying, where the fuck you came from. You know what I mean? PayPal.me forward slash Aaron337. Very simple, very easy. Um, the Big Face Podcast snapbacks, as you can see, are now in. Going for $25, so are the RU Series t-shirts. I actually took the RU Series t-shirt down to $20. All you got to do is go to PayPal.me forward slash are you serious 10? Put all your information in and the shit will be there in three to five business days. Get your shit together, bit home. I don't think he would just kill his money by allowing YG or anybody in YG camp to just whack you. But I do believe he'll let them motherfuckers get close enough to where you know that you need him. Now that you got the police protecting you and shit like that, which is what this whole shit is all about. Welcome back to the Big Face Podcast. I am El Canseco, fearless leader of AO Nation, and this is... If you don't have your Are You Serious t-shirt, make sure you go to paypal.me forward slash Are You Serious 10. Any color you want, put all your information within the notes section of the PayPal. Also, get your Big Facts podcast hats. Only going for $25 right now. Are You Serious t-shirts are going for $20. Get it now. Please remember that that PayPal is not the PayPal you go to to donate 
or do any type of advertising or promotion that PayPal that you go to for donations and advertising is paypal.me forward slash Aaron337, which is in the description box. First thing that you will see along with the cash out. Also, PSA. Um, if you are a faggot and you're in my comment section talking about, ah, oh, the fuck, why? I'm not gonna pay a dime, but I'm gonna watch. Ah, uh, so we gotta, so we gotta pay to watch. So if we don't pay, we're not in your nation. Listen here, you fucking faggot. When I tell you to show love or shut the fuck up, that means that if you in a comment section talking about some, I'm gonna hit the PayPal, I'm gonna hit the PayPal, I'm gonna hit the PayPal, and you don't do it, shut the fuck up. That's what that's for. Motherfuckers in the comment section that's pump faking just want motherfuckers to see them say some shit. Don't do that. I, I, that's not what the fuck AO Nation stand for. You can move in silence. And I said, God, I've had folks, like the folks who donate, them motherfuckers don't even barely be in the comment section with the whole eye. Uh, they say good shit and they go there secretly. It's like that's that whole, you know what I'm saying? You want everybody to know, uh, I'm, I'm going to go to the PayPal. I'm going to the cash app. Dog. If you're going to do it, you're going to... I'm not with that. That's so what I'm saying. Like, I don't come from that Tommy Hill figure, uh, Louis Vuitton, Kanye West level to where I'm saying motherfuckers. Ah, like, no, nah, I come from right here. If I'm telling motherfuckers to go to the PayPal and show love, how in the fuck am I going to talk to the motherfuckers who ain't got shit? If you ain't got shit, you going through some shit and it's tight right now, show love and show support by sharing the shit on your social media. You don't got a, a fucking social media? Just like the shit. Put your family on to it. There's a lot of different ways to support a show other than financially. But if I'm seeing you in the goddamn comment section, I'm going to the PayPal. Dog, shut the fuck up, dog. That, that's that internet faggot shit just saying something to say it. And I, I'm, dog, you motherfuckers in the comment section, I just want you to watch. Watch anyone in the comment section that says something negative. Go to their motherfucking, hit their thumbnail and look. I guarantee they don't have over 18 fucking subscribers. They don't got no fucking videos up. And if they do, them shits is lame as fuck. Negativity begets more negativity. If motherfuckers is doing well in life, they not going to say no hating ass shit. A motherfucker that's doing well would much rather say nothing before they say something negative. Because it's not in them. And this is kind of like what we're doing with 6 9 right here. Firstly, I think that Let's let's do the, let's let's do the let's go about because I'm not gonna do that. I'm not we're not doing the, the bullshit. If YG is going on different shows, dissing six nine, trying to get traction and shit like that, whatever, that's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like that's fake as fuck. If you going on motherfuckers platforms and every time you go to a radio station, you have to mention another motherfucking name in order for you to be relevant. That's bullshit. That's lame. That's the same as goddamn not being able to fuck no hoe unless you put another nigga down. Yeah, you know that nigga goddamn. You know he was just down there talking to Keisha goddamn. I ain't in that shit, but you know I don't know why the fuck you playing with that nigga. That he was just down there with Keisha now. That nigga down there. Shit, I, it couldn't. See that's why I be saying y'all see. Females just be crazy. They gonna be loyal to the motherfucker that don't give a fuck about them. But the motherfucker that real, motherfucker don't want to goddamn do that. I never liked that shit. A nigga shouldn't have to like, dog, if you trying to motherfucking move, make like, you don't got to do all that big home. And that's if that's what the case is. But if it's on some, the interviewer brings it up, whatever like that. But it could be on another level. Let's, let's go on another hypothetical stream to where it's like, um... I have no respect for the motherfucker. And that's where a lot of motherfuckers fuck up with 6 9 because, like, the Locust Shmuel or just any one of them niggas who, like, know what I'm saying, fuck with them. You don't have no respect for 6 9 and, and you know what I'm saying, all oh, bullshit, fake blood, all this, you know what I'm saying? You can say everything about him that you want to, but when he pulls up, he pulling up with a whole bunch of motherfuckers that he's paying for protection. And those are going to be the motherfuckers that you got to deal with physically. And what I'm thinking is, he was doing this whole look, like, playing around with this fighting shit, whatever like that. Like, YG might really be the one who tell you, like, let's get the one in. You know, we run around this whole goddamn, my nigga, what my nigga name is? Uh, Jaleel Lee. Shout out to Jaleel Lee. Jaleel Lee has a fucking YouTube channel for anti-bullying. 
a self defense class. Like he really is about that shit, but he's autistic, whatever. And that's why I fuck with this shit. Like y'all go check out these motherfucking channels, Jaleel Lee YouTube channel, whatever. Uh, the links in the description. But he really teach kids how to protect themselves against bullies and and self defense shit, whatever like that. But at one point in time, it seemed like Takashi was actually on like some bullshit ass karate shit. But that's the type of shit that if you want respect, that's how you can get it for real. Like go like put hands on somebody because fucking with YG, like you really might get your fucking issue playing around. And I don't think that YG gonna come out saying like, fuck nigga, come down here, like, come right here to this street and shit like that. I don't think he gonna do that. I really think he gonna handle this shit the right way and really catch you on some bullshit. And give it to you, dog. You know what I'm saying? It's not so much the rapper. It's the money that the rapper has. You know what I'm saying? It's not so much. Shout out to. Y'all know what the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? The motherfucker that got the dope and the money. Might be a snitch. You know what I'm saying? Might goddamn be just the weakest nigga. This nigga might have A's and everything. But because he has the dope and the money. That's what you're going to be fighting with. You know what I'm saying? Like this, you can't go to war unless your money right. You can't. You can be the most toughest, you know what I'm saying? But if a nigga got more money than you, you know what I'm saying? Like he can really put folks in the positions to murder you, dog. Me, me I brought that to the forefront, like putting bags on motherfuckers' head. But that shit's been in the underworld since the beginning of the fucking mafia. What the fuck they do? They send hits on motherfuckers. Y'all know see a fucking mob boss go kill nobody his fucking self? Put hits on niggas. Fucking goons you gotta worry about. So, that's where shit get fucked up at because if your money ain't like 6 9 money, he can really put something on your ass from a distance. You know what I'm saying? So, that, that's where shit get crazy and your whole career is over with because you put into a situation where you cannot... Show that gangster gangster side. You got to show that smart side that no one knows that you have. And in this industry, right now, inside this industry, intelligence is not what's going to sell records. What's going to sell records is that ignorance, that retarded, that gorilla shit. Ah, fuck nigga, kill a nigga with the police in the way. I kill a nigga while I shoot a damn in the face. Police right there, shoot him dead in the face. Niggas want to hear... That just do it shit. Know what I'm saying? Like that, know what I'm saying? Like, niggas want to hear about what they doing and not what they should be doing. You know what I'm saying? They want to hear about what they doing right now. It, it, cause it, it's, it, it's the spirit of music. Um, the spirit of music, um, depending on what kind of music you're listening to, like, that's what's going to go inside you. This is what we have going on in Chicago. Yada, yada, yada. But, 6 9 I'm I'm conflicted. I'm conflicted because it's like if motherfucker if he came out like that, if he came out you the, the issue with this shit is, six nine, you not built like that. So it's crazy to hear somebody like you telling a nigga like YG to suck your dick when you wouldn't say that to him. You know what I'm saying? Like you wouldn't say that to no matter what the fuck YG did, you would not say that to him. If y'all was in a room together, you would not say that to him. If you didn't have, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if y'all were both just niggas on the street, whatever, like that, you wouldn't say that to him. You wouldn't say that shit online. You wouldn't tweet that shit. You wouldn't even think that shit. Because you know what's going on. Like, he had, you know what I'm saying? Like, this nigga ain't had to jump uh, click to click and shit like that. Like, he really, you know what I'm saying? He in there like that. So that's where this shit get thrown off, but this the whole thing. Like this whole this whole shit is, you know what I'm saying? This whole shit is clowns on top, clowns are the gangsters, and the gangsters are just, you know what I'm saying, left to be with away. Real isn't real. Because everybody they'll tell you what real is if you listen to the majority consensus. They will tell you that real is Trippy Red, Uzi Vert, Famous Dicks, so on and so fucking forth. That's what real is. This is what these motherfuckers riding around reciting.
it leaves you at a loss for fucking words. It's like, where in the fuck are we at at this point? But what we're at is in a state of fucking confusion. The ones that they put in positions to lead are the ones that were already heading. You know what I'm saying? No fucking way. So, if I'm somebody who, if I'm working with government pharmaceutical companies, big tobacco companies, privatized prisons, and a judicial judicial system, I told y'all that these all these people are meeting on a golf course. If I'm the fucking record label, and what I want, I'm the head of the record label. You don't even fucking see me. Just like the fucking, the the league owners, like the, the fucking like NFL league owners and shit like that. You don't fucking see them. Those ain't the famous fucking folks. The famous folks is goddamn, you know what I'm saying? The niggas on the field. It's the niggas on the field. But them niggas couldn't get a fucking policy trained. These niggas, they are, they, these motherfuckers would rather kick motherfuckers off the team than to even allow them to do a silent protest. Before we would let you try to rile up, you know what I'm saying, or get people to, oh, there you go, That's, he's going to be a problem one. He's going to be a problem. Let's get that nigger away from the rest of them. Uh, stirring up all they came. Before they allow a motherfucker to do a silent protest to where it may wake a person up. To where like, yeah, that is fucked up. They'll get him the fuck out of there and make him a goddamn example. Like, how much is this movement worth to you? Walk with me, walk with me. How much is this movement worth to you? Is it worth your career? Is it worth your livelihood? Where, like, what else can you do in life? You've been playing football since you were eight years old. If you didn't have the, the most Jewish, Jewish of accountants, you would know what the fuck to do with your money. You would be broken a year. Believe me. You would be broken a goddamn year if you didn't have the most Jewish of fucking accountants you know nothing about economic um uh, literacy how much is this shit worth to you and the fucked up part is a nfl player's mother would tell him don't go in that stern don't you goddamn that ain't your fight that ain't your as if it like what the how is it not my fucking fight it's supposed to be an american fight not just you know people of color but Definitely anybody that of African American of African descent is your goddamn fight. But their mothers will tell them, "Don't go in there and start no shit. You do what that man tell you to do. That's a good man." The older the the older the goddamn white man, the more respect that he gets from the goddamn black woman. I'm just telling the truth. I'm just telling the goddamn truth. The older the motherfucking white man, the more respect you get. We saw the goddamn Baltimore ride, the, 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 the riot mom, she come out there slapping a damn boy up. You get a middle-aged white man coming somewhere and, and saying something to a goddamn mother of an NFL player, she gonna listen. You get an old, one of them fucking league owners to come to a house, knock on the door, she gonna goddamn make tea, lemonade, do every fucking thing you've seen in the goddamn color purple. Except spitting the goddamn water and lemonade. I'm, t I'm talking to you, dog. The majority of mothers of NFL players have so much Fear slash respect for these goddamn league owners slash coaches that they can give a motherfuck about anything else 
other than what that motherfucker say. That motherfucker been sending jerseys and resources. That white man saved their goddamn life. In her eyes, he saved their fucking life. Now she living in up because she didn't have shit. If I'm a record label owner, I'm at the golf course with judges, lawyers, uh, DA, prosecutor, uh, court appointed lawyers, um, wardens of prisons, not even wardens, wardens can't even come to this fucking golf course. Privatized prison owners, pharmaceutical heads, big tobacco owners, every facet that controls this whole thing. Would you believe that these people actually meet? In the same fucking place. Would you. What would you think. You wouldn't even know the motherfucker that owns. Goddamn. You know what I'm saying. That really owns these fucking record labels. You wouldn't even know them if you fucking seen them. Because who owns the fucking label. Is the one who puts the money into it. Uh, they can call them investors. And sponsors. But just like politics. Um, if I. If I endorse. that They say endorse. But if I pay for Obama's campaign. If I pay for. Uh. Uh, Sanders, um, <coughs> Sanders, if I paid for Clinton's whole campaign to run it, you know what I'm saying, go state to state, slur campaigns, shit like that, um, everything you need to actually run a whole campaign, like, you could, like, I, what was like a billion dollars to actually run it good or something, but if I put the majority of money up and I'm fucking, and I'm a Ford manufacturer, I'm only putting this money into this motherfucker because they have... We have like goals. We have like means of making money. So it's like, I know that you are for my company. Meaning, um, I know that I'm going to get some cutback on the taxes if you win. Like, I'm going to win some kind of way. Like, I'm the one who's giving you the money. I don't got to go to no fucking security check. I get to talk to you on the fucking phone. So I'm on, I'm on the phone with Clint. I'm on the phone with fucking... Imagine that. Imagine if I'm one person... But I'm funding both candidates. Imagine if I'm funding both candidates. So no matter who wins, I win. And all I had to do was put up some of my fucking invisible fucking money. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. I don't want to get too deep in that rap. But the, the thing is, um, if I'm the prime investor at this record label, I own the shit. So if I tell you to, so if, if, if the owner is Lear Cohen or whatever motherfucker, I gave you the money to start up your business. You had the vision and the experience, the know-how of this rap shit. You you actually get down there with the niggers. You know what I'm saying? I don't get down there with them, but I know that you know what you're doing. So I'm going to give you the money to start up 300. I'll give you the money to start up TIG. I'll give you the money to start up, you know what I'm saying, whatever QC, whatever fucking label. But if I tell you, hey man, I need you to come to this golf course. Or fuck it, don't come to this golf course. I go to the golf course, meet with all these, you know what I'm saying, all the people that's at the course, and they give me the plan. Hey, what well we, what well we, what, well, the way we run this thing is, you know what I'm saying? We like entertainment, okay? Um, no one has to die, or you know, but but you know, it comes with the business. Um, at times, people argue and. We find that the more um, artists getting get into competition with each other, the more the money just rolls in. So what we like to do here is make sure that there's always um, tension. There's always confusion amongst artists. We don't like it when there's no drama. So what we're going to do is we're going to have certain situations. We yeah, Obviously, we have um, Tom. Tom, I'm saying Tom. The fuck is the boy name from goddamn Facebook? Mark. 
as you can see, we have Mark Zuckerberg here. We have the owner of Instagram here. We have the owner of Twitter here. So what we're going to do at certain times is we're going to, um, they're going to be ghost tweets. Uh, there's going to be ghost accounts where they just start up issues and, and opinions that will get in the artist's head because we have the type, the top, um, uh, psychologists here who have told us the way the brain patterns that go into certain artists which is why we only want you to sign certain artists if you sign an artist that um that has this type of brain or you know like let's just say they have this brain type they won't be as easily easily molded or, or manipulated so we like to have artists that have this brain type so that when we do send the ghost accounts up in the um the tweets or the the posts from these ghost accounts we want them to bite on it we don't want to have to go we don't want to have to do so much to where someone might find us out so we want to keep everything secret and uh, confidential so we're gonna need for you to only sign this type of artist uh, we're gonna give you the money we're gonna give you all the money you need it won't be an issue but there's a way that we run things around here also another thing is we don't want to get anyone of um, how can I say we only want the African Americans we don't mind if they're of, of um, a Haitian descent or we don't care what descent they come from but they need to be um, of a darker complexion uh, meaning we don't want any Caucasians to get into this mix so no Eminem no uh, Machine Gun Kelly Yellow Wolf or any other um, situation we learned a long time ago with um, Vanilla Ice that um, or I think MC Search him also that when you put them too deep into the lion's den, they get found out. So we like to keep those on the outskirts. So, since African Americans are the easy, easiest to manipulate, we want to make sure that we get the most simple of the simple. So, don't sign any artists over the age of 23. No artists over the age of 23 because at that time they might have woken up, um, had situations in their life to where they may think that the white man is the enemy. And, you know, we can't have that type of racism inside of our, our, um, our company. So we're going to need for you to make sure that you don't have... We don't care how young you sign them, but they can't be older than, let's just say, for safekeeping, 23 years old. Okay? So there you go. Um, here's whatever you need. Anytime you need anything, as long as you follow those rules, we'll fund you all the way down. Now, I'm the man. You know what I'm saying? This is what happened on the golf course. Everybody's in on this shit. This is the, you got the banker. You got uh, Mark Zuckerberg, Instagram owner, uh, Twitter owner. Uh, the prison people, the privatized prison owner, Michael Jordan, you got the pharmaceutical company. Everybody's putting money in this label owners, the actual owner, the one who's about to invest into Lear Cohen and TIG and every other fucking label. I'm the one who's giving the money. So what they just told me, I'm going to pass that on to this broke motherfucker that I'm finna get this money because he knows how to move in hip hop. So he knows how to touch this place and touch this place and really make it pop. But he needs funding and he needs a lot of it to make it look like it's supposed to look. So, hold on. <clears throat> so, before I give this money to this label owner, before I give this money to the motherfucker that wants to build his label, I'm going to make sure that he understands all of that shit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dress it up a little bit because, you know, they gave me the raw uncut. But I'm going to dress it up a little bit, you know what I'm saying, so he understands. But I'm going to stay within those parameters. I'm not going to go outside of it. 
And that is what's going on here. Someone is working. Someone is making motherfucking sure that the most dangerous career outside of a criminal is a rapper. In order for your career to go any motherfucking way, in order for you to, you know what I'm saying, just check it out. Just check it out. The majority of fucking artists that are popping at this very moment is going to be beef after beef after conflict after near-death experience. After death experience. This is a fucking blood sport. We go to NASCAR to watch cars crash. I, I guess that's what they do. You watch rappers because you know at any fucking moment you can get a notification that they're dead. And it will not be out of the fucking ordinary. At any moment, you can get the fucking notification that a rapper is no longer living and it is the normal. Rest in peace. Ah, oh, that's so fucked up, man. Nah, I'm gonna go listen to his music and you get on another artist and we keep moving. This Takashi shit is, is he has police. You're not gangster, but you got police. Like, there, there's police officers that actually protect you. You can't, it doesn't matter how gangster you talk. If you tell a real blood gang member to suck your dick, it's not validated because you move around with police officers. It's the same argument that Ja Rule and everybody had against 50 Cent. You can't move with police officers and talk gangster. That, that it's, it's a contradiction. It doesn't work. It's, it's a walking contradiction. How the fuck are you gangster and you move with police? Like, gangsters run from police officers. They don't work hand in hand with them. But it's entertaining. This whole thing is just entertaining. This is what you want to see. And you won't stop watching until he either dies or he says, fuck it, and he knows this. If he just say, fuck this shit, I'm going to go do something else, you know what I'm saying, more safe, the way Post Malone did, the way Iggy Azalea did, nobody give a fuck about him. But you have to get out of this culture. This culture moves very fast. It's very, it's hard, it's fast. Offset just got a fucking gun charge. You, you, you never, see struggles is that, like you never going to get a dull moment in this shit. Somebody coming home from prison, somebody going to prison, somebody getting arrested, somebody getting shot. Guns getting pulled out. NBA young boy just had it on his hand. It this, but if you want to be, and this is the whole, you know, say your soul just to where the metaphor comes from, because you're knowingly going into this. I'm finna do a video on Glock Nine. He just signed with Cash Money. I give that boy maybe a year before he catches the charge, or something happens to him. I held off on certain videos because this shit, if I actually, you know what I'm saying, want to make a hole in this shit and actually make some type of change, that, I need to find out what the fuck is going on here because this shit is, if, if like, you don't see a, a, a fucking pattern, you don't see a pattern going at this point, like, this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened, kind of like reality TV. You ever notice that artists with deals sometimes, you ever notice like other than, you know, certain people like motherfuckers be getting a whole lot of chance. You think you just, you chalk it up to all they got money so it'll just go away. But in real life, when shit happens, no matter how much money you have, that's what the feds do. Fed, they deal with money. That's their whole thing. Like it's crimes about money. When, that's who came and seen me when I was fucking with that money. Like, it's going to be money there. So you, like, they pride themselves on not being able to be bribed. So you can't use that whole, uh, you know, folk with money. They can goddamn, they can eat the charges. What the fuck? I'm not going, I'm not going to that. 
I'm just saying. I'm not going to report on this shit as if, oh my God, I just can't fucking believe it. Because how in the fuck can't you? Dog, every fucking week it's something else. The only fucking thing that is constant in life is change. And there has been no change in this goddamn show. If you start looking at this goddamn hip-hop genre... As a TV channel like VH1 and just look at this rap game as if it was a show you'll be surprised you'll be baffled at the similarities 69 you're not no gangster you can't talk gangster your gangster shit don't count you got police around you dog Vlad has police around him he doesn't talk gangster it's strictly for protection. If you want a wolf, fire the goddamn police and come out here like the fuck, you know what I'm saying, against the wood. Big Facts Podcast. I'm El Canseco. Make sure you hit that PayPal. See y'all in a minute.